This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress and today we're going to see how we can create a custom product archive page using Elementor Pro. Let's get started. Now before we go ahead and install Elementor Pro and create a custom template, let's see some settings that are available in WordPress itself. We go to Customize, WooCommerce and go to product catalog and here you can see there are some things that you can change for example you can change the number of columns products per page and here you can add title price if you want to add rating short description add to cart and category as well these are the things that you can add But I'm not going to add any of these. Now let's head over to Elementor website, which will be linked in the description. Choose the plan according to your need. Complete your purchase and install the plugin. Now, once we have installed the plugin, go to templates. Click on add new and this will be products archive. Let's click on create template and let's start editing with Elementor. We're going to start from scratch. I'm going to add a container that has two containers. Move this aside. On the left column, we're going to add categories. And on the right, we're going to add the product itself. Now let's add the archive products. Now again what we're going to do is add a heading This heading will be of type dynamic Let's click on the dynamic tag icon Scroll down And we're going to add archive title And we're going to remove the word archive from it. So this is going to show the products itself. And here as you can see. You can change the allow order and show result count. Which is this. Let's go to style. You can change the image here. Let's add a bit of columns gap. Now let's click on publish and see what it looks like. So as you can see, this is our product page. Let's add a bit of padding here.
let's click on update let's change the alignment go to style and change the alignment to center let's click on update and reload our website now the products archive is looking pretty well let's add a side menu for categories first of all we're going to add a heading that says categories let's add a bit of margin Now let's add a menu. We're going to make a menu. Go to appearances, menus, and let's create a new menu. menu name will be categories let's click on create menu go to screen options and make sure the product categories is enabled so as you can see product categories has been added and let's select all and add to menu let's click on save menu and the menu will be let's reload this click on update and reload the menu will be categories that we just created the layout will be vertical so as you can see this is our menu and our product website page is looking pretty good Let's click on update and view our website. So this is our product page. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.